Hello, this video is going to show you how to embed your live charts from a Google Forum question into Google Doc or a Google Slides presentation. You can also embed these into Google Drawings as well. Just to show you how this works or why you would want to do this, I already have an example form created. I'm going to select a name here and then choose one of the options in my question. I'm going to click Submit. When I go back to my Google Slides presentation where I already have the chart embedded, notice there's an Update option. When I click Update, it now updates the responses in real time. Same thing if I go to my Google Doc here, there's now an update option. When I select it, it updates in real time. For this Google Form, I'm actually asking the question at the beginning of the lesson and then again at the end. Even though I have the update button here at the end, I don't really need to update it right now. You can embed this after the first response goes through. So in order to have this ready for class, I actually responded first just so there was a beginning response there. How did I actually get the Google Form chart? embedded into the presentation and the doc. I opened my Google form, selected the responses tab, went down to the question I wanted to add the chart from and selected copy, super simple. And then I went to the Google Slides presentation. I'm gonna delete this one out just for now. And all I did was go to the slide I wanted to add it on and control V and this pop-up box came up. And I wanna link it to the form so that every time it's updated or a new response comes in, I have the option to update. I'm gonna select paste and it pastes right in there. Same thing with the Google Form. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one out just for my example. And same thing, I'm gonna just do Control V. It gives me the same pop-up box and I'm gonna link it to the form so there's live responses coming in and click paste and it's there. If you have multiple classes and you wanna do this again or like I have set up in this Google Doc, I have a beginning, I'm gonna use the same question and then I have an end. What I will do is I will go back to my Google form and I'll go to the responses tab and I'm actually going to come over here and delete all responses. And I'm gonna say, okay, yes, but don't worry for deleting responses. If you need accountability for this, I still have all the options here. I don't need to worry about saving the students' responses who have already responded. But as you can see I don't have any options in here so I'm going to go back to the Google form and put it in preview mode so I can respond again. I'm going to click submit and I'm going to actually fill this out a couple more times. Okay, so I filled this out a couple more times. I'm gonna just show you in the responses section. So this is what our chart should look like. I'm gonna come over to the Google Slides presentation and immediately you see that doesn't match what we just did. So I'm gonna click this update option and it pulls through the live chart. Same thing, I'm gonna to go to the Google Doc. I do have the update button here, but I don't wanna use it because that was my beginning responses and I actually wanna have my students compare the charts. If I come to the end chart, I do have the update option. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that. And now I have a great open-ended question. Why do you think there is a difference between these two charts when asking the same questions from beginning to end of the lesson? Only those with the Google Forms permissions can actually update these and click that update button. So if you need your students to do this, you're gonna have to give them access to the Google Form, which you probably don't wanna do. I hope you like these embed chart options in Google Docs and Google Slides and also Google Drawings, even though I didn't show that. I hope it provides some interactive activities using these charts.